the motivation for most people who went to Los Alamos was to get a bomb before Hitler did. Because they knew very well that famous scientists like Heisenberg were there in Germany, and that's why it was valuable to deploy many of the greatest physicists of the era in Los Alamos. And uh, uh, Rothblatt was there, but also Oppenheimer, Hans Bethe, and the young Richard Feynman was there as well. So they got the really best talent there to actually work out how these bombs should be made to work. This is interesting here. This is um, a yeah, Nature article. That's right. This is right, 1939. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On uh, emission of neutrons accompanying the fission mm -hmm. of uranium nuclei. This is work that uh, he must have done in Poland. So this is some of the foundational theoretical work yeah, that yes, would yes. later be used to build a bomb. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But in fact, it's interesting that um, uh, if you study the literature on nuclear physics, um, there's a sudden blackout about 1941. And uh, anyone who just followed literature would realise something was happening, because uh, there were no papers from any well-known nuclear physicist. Because they're all they're, they're all gone to work at Los Alamos. Yeah. Yes, mm. on the Manhattan mm. Project. Mm.